Hey, if I got an easy solution for you, if you own yourself a Generation 1 Mazda 3, like in 2003 to 09 or whatever the hell it was, BK, and you have some clunking in the rear and some rattling, maybe you might want to consider replacing your sway bar end links. Two types of clunking, one sounded like a loose ball joint and one sounded like a piece of uh, inside trim rattling around. Both of those are now gone and I have no idea how the plastic trim is gone, but the metal clunking noise, rattling noise, disappeared when I replaced the sway bar end links. It's those things right there, it's two bolts. If you still have the stock one, they're 14 millimeter and a five millimeter, I think, uh, Allen key to hold them in place while you spin them out. It's a pretty easy job, all you gotta do is jack up your car, you don't have to take the tires off. I had no idea that they were broken on mine. Actually, it was just the passenger side and it had the littlest tiny bit of play. I can't even show you it on camera, it's so minute. And I couldn't see it when I was under there fidgeting with a pry bar and stuff. Everything else, absolutely tight. So I got the new sway bar end links on both sides, as you can see there. Other than that, every joint under here is absolutely solid, no movement. So this is the passenger side sway bar link. It's probably factory, you know, as old as the car. So this part here, uh, facing straight up, goes vertical, and this bottom part is the goes horizontal. But uh, right here, there's movement laterally in this direction and uh, I, I it's so minute that I can't show you it's literally a feel thing you know it's a preventative maintenance thing it's they're gonna go at some point but the front ones usually always go first there's more weight and stuff up there but they're cheap and easy to replace so if you're under your car doing stuff you might as well do it check out your sway bar end links you have to take them out to feel that tiny little play because like I said I couldn't tell uh, and Everything else in my car, the coil springs, uh, control arms, plastic trim. I gutted the entire trunk. I looked, I took out the back seats. <laughs> Couldn't find an issue with any of that. All of it is tight, rust free, no cracks or breaks in any of that stuff. Only problem was the passenger side sway bar end link. So yeah, give that a shot. Uh, if it works, let me know in the comments. And if it didn't, also let me know in the comments because there's a whole plethora of us that would be willing to help you find whatever's making your life miserable because driving that car when it was clunking and rattling was a fucking nightmare and I hated every second of it. Now it feels like I'm driving a Mazda again. Alright, until further news, I shall talk to you later.